If now is your time to buy a home, here are some things to really consider when you're in the house hunting process. Stick around and check it out. All right, we're back. So if you are now in the house hunting process, things are really starting to heat up. Your family's getting excited. Some things you really want to consider when you actually start the process uh, to nail down really what you want, where you want to be. So the first thing would be location. So we want to find out, uh, do you want to be in a certain neighborhood? Do you want to be in a certain town? Where do you actually want to be? So get out a pen and paper and really write these things down. The next thing you're going to want to consider, uh, and you're going to have to talk to a lender, but you may have a good idea on what you want to spend if you're in that certain neighborhood or in that certain town, is price. What price range do you think you're going to be and what's the top and what's the bottom of your price range? And if you find that special house, are you willing to go a little bit higher than your actual max budget? Uh, another thing you're really going to want to consider is what are some of the entertainment values that are around the around the house now is there parks is there um, movie theaters is there restaurants what are the things that you like to do and surround yourself with those things now some other things to consider when you're in the house hunting process that you may not always consider is uh, if you have kids you're gonna want them to go to good schools. So what are the school rankings in the neighborhoods? Uh, talk to some of the families that go to the schools, get some insight on what schools would fit well with your kids, because uh, every kid is different and we know every kid learns differently. So there's different schools that teach different things that may fit your profile. All right, so the next thing that I would consider is your access to freeways. You wanna be able to get places fast, um, not waste time and proximity to your work. So uh, it, it, like I mentioned before, if you're close to the freeways and your, free, your, your work is close to a freeway, that would be a direct access and direct line. Uh, so you always wanna have access to good freeways and uh, quick entrances and exits from and to your neighborhood. All right, so one other thing to consider when you are house hunting is the property tax percentages and uh, the amounts that you're going to. So you're gonna wanna check into that, make sure that uh, your property taxes aren't a lot higher than you actually thought they were. And when also when it comes down to finances, you're gonna wanna talk about if you have any HOAs or any mellow ruse, which are gonna be costs that may not be always um, accounted for and they're going to be long-term costs so you definitely want to make sure you budget for those costs all right so once the location is locked in and you got your price range down now you're starting to look at houses so now you're starting to look at some of the actual physical traits of the home do you want a pool do you want a large backyard small backyard uh, less to clean up in the backyard what are some of the things that you want in the house are you open to a fixer or you want it to be turnkey these are the things and the questions that you want to ask yourself in order to make the best decision for you and your family all right, some other things to consider if you have uh, a family or whoever you have in the house is the amount of bedrooms and bathrooms uh, that are going to accommodate the people that are gonna be living inside of that home. Also, some of the things that you wanna consider when you're looking at the house and have the mindset is what are the things that you do most in the house? Like, as I mentioned before, if you like swimming, if you live in a hot area, you're probably gonna want a swimming pool. Uh, if you entertain a lot, maybe you want a bar or a kitchen island where everybody can congregate to. So these are some of the things that you should be at least considering and thinking about. So it may open up your eyes just that little bit more and you can get that perfect house when you are house hunting. So I hope you like these tips. I hope they help open up your mind. And as always, have the best day of life and adios.